All right, welcome back to the drive-through, boys and girls. Sponsored at all, as always, by the deli. Can I hear it for the deli today? Get it up. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is number 15 from 5.5. .5. You can see that we are given a minimal amount of information, but then when you think about it, if we're given that something's a parallelogram, we're actually now given like seven different facts. Do you get that? So it's about using the right ones. We're trying to prove that this line is parallel to this line, okay? Well, if I just extended those, instead of made them segments, made them into like things that looked like lines, and then I took this thing and I drew my transversal, hopefully you can see that if these angles are congruent, then those lines are parallel. Can you see that? So now I've got to find those angles, and it's going to be that one and that one. So I'm going to try to prove that those two angles are congruent. There's other ways to do it. Somebody came up and, and did it by proving this angle was congruent to that one. That would totally work. That's this one and this one, okay? So once again, having a plan is what matters the most. The proof itself is now easy to me because I know exactly how I'm going to prove that these angles are congruent, okay? So, number one, A, B, C, D is a p-gram, and A, F is congruent to C, E. That's given. So I have this is congruent to that, okay? Well, I can say that um, D, A is parallel to CB, and that's the definition of parallelogram. Okay? I can say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 by if parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent, okay? Where am I going next, class? I got one more step. DA is congruent to CV. What's my reason? If parallelogram, then opposite sides congruent. Remember, the definition says nothing about the sides, so I can't say definition of parallelogram. What's that? I said parallel. Now I'm saying they're congruent. That's totally fine. I get what you're saying. So I got this. Now, do you guys see where I'm going from here? Triangle DAF is congruent to triangle Oh, that's not as fun. CV by SAS. So then angle DFA is congruent to angle BEC, angle Beck by CPCTC. Okay, and now I can say that DF is congruent to EB, so not congruent, is parallel to ED because if alternate exterior angles are congruent, then Lines are parallel. Can I get a boom? boom? That was a good one. How about another one? Boom. One more. 